I'm actually getting into this now and like editing is not actually that hard. It takes time, but it's not hard. Like once you get the hang of it, it's not hard. So I'm quite excited. I'm here for another video. Woo! I jump uh, a little bit. Today is freezing outside. It's absolutely freezing. Woke up this morning, it was minus 10. Okay, my bike did stopped working, like the, you know, the gears and stuff froze. Um, not working. Bike is not working. <sighs> it's crazy, it's ice cold. It's freezing, look at that frost. Hey girls, is it cold outside? No. No? Oh well, that's because you're wearing like really nice, warm, like snow suits and stuff. I'm not wearing that. I'm just wearing a soft shell for crying out loud. I guess that's my my problem, not theirs. But yeah, freezing cold. Bike that's not working. Yeah, this is my daily trek. Just go. I'm back. Um, I don't know if you remember in my last video, we talked about my sister-in-law who uh, called me at the hospital after having done her research. Um, she'd found, um, I'm, I'm sure if you have MS, you've heard of Dr. Terry Wall. Uh, I can't really say her name. Terry Wall? Terry Wall. Whatever. Um, is a lady that has um, what's called um, prime, I know, she has secondary progressive, I think it's secondary or primary, I'm not sure. Either way, she's got progressive MS, which means that you you don't have relapses. I have remitting relapsing MS, which is where um, you can, you know, if you're, if this is baseline and then you have a, a relapse, which will, you know, basically put you down a lot in your, you know, f functions and things like that. And then you'll kind of start to recover a little bit. You'll probably never recover completely, but you'll start to recover a little bit. And then you'll have another relapse and so on. Whereas remitting, sorry, so that's remitting relapsing. Uh, whereas progressive MS is one where, you know, you go, you, you, you don't have relapses. It's a, it's a constant slope downwards. Okay, so that's what she has. Um, and she has, through diet, um, gone from sitting in a wheelchair, um, not being able to take care of herself at all, um, to being able to hike and ride and, you know, walk around and do loads of things. And it's so Dr. Terry Wall did this through what we know as a paleo diet, um, where you eat uh, no grains, uh, no dairy products, but you eat loads and loads and loads of meat, red meat specifically. Um, you eat loads of vegetables uh, and some fruits. Okay, so that is um, what a paleo type diet is. One thing led to another when I was doing my research and I also found a program called Overcoming Multiple Sclerosis. I'm gonna refer to it as OMS because it's just a tongue twister. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna refer to, it's OMS. And it's kind of the opposite where Paleo does not focus on high fats, like you're allowed to eat high fats. Um, o OMS is more um, where, you, well, they focus on not eating um, high contents of saturated fat, okay? OMS implies that it has other effects other than also clogging arteries, okay? Uh, it has an inflammatory response um, in uh, those with MS, okay? The other aspect of OMS is you are allowed to eat grains. Um, that's not a problem. You're allowed to eat breads and, and, and things like that. Carbs is not an issue. Paleo, you know, carbs is not good, okay? Starch, starch-rich foods, like, that's not good. You're not, you're, you're allowed to eat fruit, but not loads. Where OMS, you're allowed to eat starches, you're allowed to eat all that. Um, but, yeah, vegetables, you're allowed to eat fish and, like, prawns and stuff, stuff. But yeah, focus on low saturated fat, which means, it basically means no oils. The only oil that you are allowed is extra virgin olive oil, okay? Because it has a, a low saturated fat content, not very low, but you know, lower than a lot of them. And, um, but not just that, it also has a, um, a relatively good balance of omega-3s and omega-6s. So that's another aspect of uh, extra virgin olive oil, and that's why that one is kind of okay. It's the main kind of um, 
outline of o, of OMS. So you no know, no red meats, no um, chicken, um, no dairy. I forgot to mention dairy. You're not allowed to eat dairy on it as well. Okay, so um, yeah, kind of vegan, but plus fish. If that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, as OMS. The person who has created OMS also has multiple multiple sclerosis, but he has my type of multiple sclerosis. So he has remitting, relapsing multiple sclerosis. MS. I'm just going to call it MS. Uh, at the time, he'd had it for about 14 years, and he has hadn't had it. No, he hadn't had a relapse in 14 years. I think he's had it for longer, but he hasn't had a relapse in 14 years through eating this way. And he has he's living a really healthy life. Um, so. I was at a crossroads really um, as to what to choose because for me, like I've never been a red meat eater. Like I've eaten it, but like when there's a menu and there's like steak and then there's fish, I've always picked the fish. Like I've just not been a red meat eater and the thought of eating that much red meat because let me tell you, she, she tells you that she eat loads and the thought for me to, to eat that was very... Well, it was just very overwhelming and I had not made like the vegan connection um, or anything like that. I had just, you know, this was at the beginning stages of my journey and I, it was, I just didn't feel that it was, um, it wasn't the right thing for me. Now, there was a loads of other factors as well where I um, you know, some people would call me a carb addict, you know, I've done low carb diets before. Okay. I, I, I've been a yo-yo dieter. I mean, who hasn't been? Okay. And I have done low carb diets before. I've been able to stick to stick with it for about, I don't know, two or three weeks and then something, you know, I just can't stick with it. I, I can't. Um, I need carbs. I need, <laughs> I need carbs. And now I know why. But like, obviously at that time I didn't. And at that time I was like, oh, well, you know, I feel like over OMS will be an, the easier path for me or it's something I feel I could stick with for longer. The other thing as well, um, and I don't talk about this very, like a lot with you guys, cause we all have our, like our different journeys. But for me, um, I am uh, like a Christian and I, I do believe in, in God and, and all of that. And I, I felt kind of like, guided I can't explain it but I felt guided towards going overcoming multiple sclerosis for me okay like I said our journeys are completely different but that is part of mine and I wanted to kind of tell you that I started doing that um I did that the f like straight away I started the almost the same day <laughs> I I I was home from the hospital over the weekend after having done a spinal tap they were like, you know, go home, rest. Did I rest? And no. Did I get the, like, the spinal headache, spinal tap headache thing? Yes. And it lasted for two weeks and it was awful. But anyway, I'm not even going to get into that. 